Hello everybody, it is Judy here. Welcome back to my channel and I'm going to be showing you here this beautiful um, journal that I have done. Um, it's already sold, but um, I just wanted to show it to you. It has a gorgeous digital kit theme um, that fit perfect for the person that was wanting it. This is a very big book. It is a slash, uh, it is an artist drawing slash junk journal book. Okay. Um, it is very, very big. Um, the digital kit that I use is absolutely gorgeous, guys. It's a, a vintage style, uh, froggy uh, digital. It is, has been made by uh, Dawn, who is with the book Vandal Shop, and you can find her on YouTube that way as well as her shop on Etsy, the book Vandal Shop, and I will of course link her below. Um, probably most all of you know her. If you don't, I'm really surprised because she is an awesome, awesome artist. Makes great journals and digitals too as well. So this digital that is in this kit is called Music of the Marsh, and it has three plain background pages, uh, 12 lined and unlined journal page sheet, uh, sheets, 15 sheets of assorted tags, pockets, ephemera, and embellishments. Um, they are beautiful. And um, so these were printed out on my Epson printer. Um, she usually recommends the premium presentation paper matte finish um, by Epson. So, but anyway, they just, they print it out beautifully. And this digital kit is only $5.79 in her store. But if you put in a special code today, you can get it for 30% off. So if you go in to buy that, all you need to do is note in there, uh, Judy 30, no spaces. So that's J-U-D-Y. Three zero. So if you use that code, you're going to get 30% off of that $5.79, guys. And I mean, that's a steal. I mean, even the $5.79 is a steal because this kid is gorgeous. Okay, so enough rambling on here. I get so excited about stuff like this. Um, anyway, here is the front of the journal. And this is kind of like a leather uh, journal. Um, it can be taken apart to add more to it if you like. That's what I like about this can be reused over and over and over again unless you just want to keep it as it is. Um, right here is a be beautiful part of one of the digitals out of her kit. And so let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay. And this is so big, so I'm going to have to be moving it around a bit. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to move my candle because this is going to be in the way because this book is way too big to have it there. So um, on the inside cover... Um, what I did is I have, this is Dawn's digital right here. This library pocket and card is from her digital kit as well as this. And I made it into a double pocket with the library card. So here is uh, part of her digital kit as well. Super, super cute, guys. Look at this little frog flying on the little swan. Actually, he's not flying on the swan. It looks like he's going through the water on the swan. Or maybe he is flying. Anyway, look how cute this is, guys. It's super, super cute. And so I have uh, some uh, vintage paper uh, dyed in there. And then I've got a card because we all know frogs love bugs. So I did some uh, uh, jelly printing for that. Cute little um, sayings. Oh, shoot. Excuse me. <laughs> this thing is heavy. Okay. Uh, the next page, um, this is from Dawn's digital kit as well as this and this the library card pocket. Um, we've got uh, some tags in here that, she, uh, that the customer can write on. Very, very cute. Just kind of run down them real quick and show you them. They're absolutely gorgeous. So I have those for writing on for her, if she so chooses so to do so. Here's two beautiful tags that are from the kit. I mean, just look at how, just look at the detail, guys. It's just so gorgeous and so vintagey. I love it. And then some coffee dyed paper on the back. Um, this is from the kit. And then in here I have 
uh, part of a piece of just the blank paper from the kit so that you could write on it. Some extra that I had left over. So we've got that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is, this book has tabs to it, okay? So this kit comes with the tabs. I love the tab idea. It's so perfect. So then um, all they have to do is go to the next tag, and here you go. So here we have one of the lined pages, and this envelope right here just Velcros on for them to get off easier. I just wrote on the back frog notes, and then on the inside are some cards um, that are aligned with the coffee paper as well, and these are from the digital kit as as well, and then I um, distressed those. Why well, I'm sure saying as, as well a lot. <laughs> you ever notice when you do, a, if you do videos, you seem to say the same word over and over. Okay, and this is from the digital kit also. Just goes right back on there. Cute little tab. Go to the next cute little tab right here. And all this is her digital kit except for the doily. And I love these lily pads. These were so cute. I used them for tuck spots. And here's one of the tags for journaling. Isn't that so super cute? So those just go right in there. And then to the next super cute tag right here with the lily pads on it and this is all her digital kit as well I use this little lily pad flower as a tuck spot and part of one of the belly bands she had in there for I cut it made a little belly band to hold this little journaling card frog legs rag by James Scott so that's supposed to be the cover of a um, music book and I made that into a journaling card so that just tucks right in there and she can write on this just gorgeous gorgeous detail all right so then on to the next tab right here and these items right here are from the digital kit and the paper and the belly band and then this little guy right here um, plenty of writing space and we have three journaling cards mushrooms, some bugs, a little maze, and these are Tim Holtz, uh, and then some stickers I put on there for the toadstool with the letters, and then we will go on to the next one, and in between is all these drawing pages as well, and then that little tab, so super cute, again I did an envelope, um, and I had it velcroed to the page, so it's easy to take off, and inside it is note cards um, and you can use these in any way you want you can put them into a little booklet I'm just using them for note cards for her to write on uh, all of these images on the in the digital kit they're vintagey they're subtle yet they're vibrant as well in color so and then we have a tuck spot right or a pocket right here and again from the digital kit these little frogs and I just kept it like that to do a double tag and then bingo card super super cute and then there's a little spot right here you can notate something there Alright, so then I'm going to go to the next again tab. There's that one. And this is one of her pages. A frog he would go a-wooing. How cute is that? A frog he would go a-wooing, go whether his mother would let him or no. So he set off with his opera rat. And on the road he, I'm not sure what that says. But anyway, it's just really cute. It's got the little saying on it, and um, in the inside here I have a little booklet that I made out of a digital kit with a belly band. She can put whatever she wants in there, and on the back, as well as go inside it and journal as well. And these are her pages also. Just really super duper cute. 
All right, so that's the front and the back of it. And I did some distressing, and then I also have it um, in this uh, pocket here that is made from a doily that I distressed. Okay, and then what I did is I did use the next page behind it, and I did a collage with a whole bunch of pieces from her digital kit um, because this digital kit is huge. And I wanted this to be, you know, both for the journaling and the drawing. So I incorporated all these together in a, um, in a collage page. And I absolutely love it. I used belly bands and all these different spots that you can write on right here and there and here, here. Um, then I incorporated one of her library card holders with um, more of the ephemera from her digital kit. My goodness, this thing is so big, I swear. It's hard to hang on to. I just want to show you all of them. There you go. All right, so this page has a lot going on, a lot of places to write. You tuck some stuff in there. I just thought that one's turned out super duper cute. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and then the end of the book is this. And let me get it in frame here, Not messing it up, and tuck spot in here. And I included a coffee stained page that I thought was pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of water ripples for the frogs. And using her digital kit as well as here. And then I made some more tags. And then this one. So I've got those right over here. Oh, actually one goes in each of these sides here. Her digital kit and then another pocket with another library card in it. Look how super cute he is, guys. I wonder what his name is. I don't know. Freddy? I don't know. You can name him whatever you want. And here's some frogs hanging out in the moonlight, which I thought was really cute. <laughs> I love that. That's really cute. But anyway, so that is the inside. Then on the back of the journal, um, and I need to get that off of there. That's a little bit of glue that I had when I got some Mod Podge on herself to get my goo gone out. But um, this is another piece from her digital kit. And what I did is um, I put, you know, made on here with love and... Um, I mod podged over it to make it clear and then stay on the back, of course. So that is the completed journal. Dawn, thank you so much for making this for this commission piece of work for me. I certainly do appreciate it. And I know that she is going to love it. Her name is Carrie, obviously, Carrie's book. Um, yeah, she's going to love it. So you guys remember Judy in cap with the number 30, J-U-D-Y 30. All together, no spaces. I'll link her below. Go check it out. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you're new, please like, subscribe. I certainly would appreciate it. You guys, happy crafting. And I will talk to you later. Thanks for joining me. Bye.